G'day guys, Steve Morgan here at the Tackle Junkie headquarters here at Logan Home with Troy Dixon from Wilson Tackle. And more particularly this morning, Troy Dixon from Zerek Lures. Um, Troy's been a stalwart of the, uh, the Zerek Barra Tour for the last few years. And Troy, I've seen guys from using nearly zero Zerek Lures up until the fact now that virtually everyone's got them in their box or on the end of their line. Um, and what it's come down to is the fact that Zerek now makes a range of lures that you can go solely Zerek when you go barra fishing. That's and I know you do it each year at the Barra Tour and you do really well. Yep. What we want to do today is go through Troy's favourite for Zerek barra lures and how to fish them. And we've got some pretty special underwater footage that someone had to get under the water and film. So, so Dico, Zerek lures have come a long way, haven't they? They certainly have. Like I said, we it started off with the, the Zerek live shrimp. Yep. When, we, when we first started so and that was a huge success so from there we've just gone step after step after step and we really concentrated on that barrow market at the start yep. now we're branched down into all sorts of lures but but what we're talking about today is all barra. Barra, barra, right. barra, barra. And we've, we've just come off that great Barra tour. And I suppose the big news is next year we've got not only the Zerek Barra tour, but we've got the uh, the Venom Barra Australian Open, which is going to be at Lake Awonga in September. It's going to be absolutely kick-ass. Venom Rods, of course, yep. uh, the brand you've got, that the high-end Australian-built premium rods that you guys catch a lot yep. of fish on. So Made in Brisbane, those ones. So, yep. Yep. so it's looking great for next year. So if you're going to tackle up for any of these um, events or even just for some social barra fishing, I want you to run us through the, the top for Zarek Barra Lures. Go. <laughs> well, so my, my number one choice, because I like vibing a lot, so it's a, it's a Zarek Fish Trap. So this is the uh, this is the 95 mil one. Yep. And you now, were saying this is your this is your highest selling lure it ever. Is, isn't yeah. It? Yeah. yeah, in that particular colour, it's it's selling unbelievable. That's Fat Betty. Yep. And it just it catches fish and it, it catches people. So yep. it's one of the, it's probably it's probably my go to Barra Monday so if you're going to have just one lure for Barra, this one's going to be at a fat bitty. What's that size? That's the 95 mil one. So that one's at 23 grams. There's uh, four different sizes to choose from and a couple of different weights and things like that. So there's a 65, a 95, a 110. Yep. And then now Big we've bobber. got the 160 in two yeah. different weights. So that's been working really well on the Barra as well. So that one being at uh, 160 we've got a bigger, bit bigger profile in the in the water yeah and being tpe plastic it actually it actually has a lot of flotation in it so it's actually got a bit slower fall in it yeah, so it yeah. actually sits in their face a lot more well when so. we were in the pool this morning you can see it and you'll see it on the cutaway here you'll see this lure just vibrating slowly as it goes down and it has it's got a really slow sink rate you were saying it's for a lot for, for vertical presentations yeah that that's where it's been really a key like when you're in that timber you know, and you've got, you got Barra sitting in the timber where you can actually just vertically jig it straight underneath the boat and it sort of comes up past them and just when it flutters back down, it's sitting in their face a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Where with the other vibes, they're a lot heavier because, you know, and they just plummet past them where that bigger one seems to hang in their face a lot further. Now, let's longer. take it right back to basics. Yep. If I tie the fat Betty on and I'm going to fish it, how do I fish it for a Barra? So the first, first of all, if you're fishing a weed edge or a weedy point or something like that, I would throw it up onto the weed if there's like two or three foot of water on top of the weed, burn it off, and then as it comes out off the weed, let it sink. Yep. And you and want to hit the bottom outside yeah, the weed? Once, you, once you've come out off the weed, and then just gentle hops yep. up off the weed. But 90% of the time at, at the Barra Tour this year, when we were fishing the weed, you would throw it on top, you'd burn it across the top, you'll get in their attention. If they were sitting in that weed, you'd get their attention. As soon as you pause it, as it come off the edge of the weed, they just eat it. Then you'd see that tick in the line? Straight away, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and in saying that too, when you actually got, if you didn't get one on that first initial, if you did a few hops out off that, so because you've got their attention, they were coming in and plucking it straight up. Now, so. when I was underwater, one thing I noticed was that size yeah. really gets action quickly off the yeah. bottom. So it doesn't take go for a foot and then starts wobbling. It, like, wobbles from a centimetre off the bottom. It's pulse. Like, it pulses off just off the slightest rod tip movement. Yeah. So you can just lift your rod up, rod tip up a little tiny bit and it pulses away straight away. So so there you go. An assortment of the, uh, of the uh, fish traps yep. are going to be good for Barra, but also, you know, guys are like threadies, big oh. flathead, jewies, all those sort of things. Multiple species of fish. I know you see this underwater footage and you just go, oh, I need that because that'll help me target those fish which are sitting on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the next one. And you said this was was one of the best uh, the best selling Zerek lures as well, especially yep. up in the Territory. Yeah. What the, is it? The, this is a Zerek flat shad. Yep. So this is in, actually in the seven inch version, which is really popular on the Barra tour. That profile bait just seems to yep. attract those Barra 
yep. you know. So, but um, they, again, it comes in multiple sizes. It comes in a three and a half, a four and a half, a five, a seven, and a big nine-inch one as well. So, and you can rig them on a jig head as well, or they come out of the packet rigged. Yep. With a worm hook. Now you're saying the territory guys, they just tie that straight on yep. and, and go fishing with it. Well, they love it because yep. they can throw it into a place yep. where they can't throw a normal hard body. And it won't get it, snagged. And it won't get snagged yeah. up. It swims right through and then it's got these little gussets in the side where if a fish eats it, yep. just folds it away folds over, mouth. that big hook can drill into it yep. and that casting weight lets you skip it anywhere you like. That's it. And so... The Barra Tour guys, though, they're like a little bit, a uh, little bit level up. Yep. They don't want to just throw it straight out of the box. They'll actually put the, the trebles on the little yep. treble assist here. What sort of modifications do they do to this? So some of the guys are putting like little flashy sw spoons off the bottom, yep. so they, you know, so it gives it a bit more flash. Yep. A lot of the guys were um, at adding a stinger onto the front, yep. so they're actually putting a treble on the front and having the two hooks sticking out and just tying a loop knot through the top there. And some of the other guys. And you'll see some of the quite a few of the cod guys now are using assist hooks. Yep. So they're they're actually swinging assist hooks off it. That's right. Because so. a barra when they when they woof it, like yep. they often it'll go down head first, won't it? So yep. they want the artillery sitting up this end of the lure. But the good thing about this is our straight out of the packet, you can throw it in there and catch that barra. That's right. Yep. So yeah, and the retrieve, and again you'll see in the cutaways here, a slow winding retrieve. This thing looks great under yep. the water. And when it's when, being TPE plastic again, when it sits on the bottom. It sits flotation, so it's always swimming. Mm. So if you're in the current, this thing's always yep. moving. Yep, and again, so. you can see it. They see the footage of it. It actually it hangs up there, yep. doesn't it? It's a, yep. it is a very attractive lure underwater, that fella. But yeah, they they are working a treat, especially in impoundments. Like a couple of the guys actually on the tour this year, which were quite consistent. Um, they used these holy and solely, and they mm. caught majority yeah, they of the fish. Them. Yeah, they did. So that was Team Venom, actually, the boys from uh, up there at. Um, about town bait and tackle. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now, this is one of your uh, new releases for this year. Yep. And the only thing that looks better than this out of the packet is this in the water. Yeah. <laughs> um, and again, you'll see some footage here. Tell it. Tell us about the construction of this lure and what it's designed to do. And there's a couple of sizes in the uh, in the swim bait as well. So this is our Zerek Life swim bait. Yep. So this is a segment a segmented um, body, but it's got a Kevlar weave through it. So it actually it's all held together by a Kevlar weave. Um, so in the water, it is just so lifelike. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favourites because I've caught my biggest yep. impoundment barrel on one of these. I've got, got a 121 on, on one of these. Yep. But these things are absolutely gold. They're built built tough straight out of the packet to catch barrel money. You can see you've got a yeah. real beefy hook on it. Uh, what we did with this one, instead of making it heavy so it sinks to the bottom, we lighten this one right up. So it's only got a little tiny bit of chin weight in here. Yep. But we added an extra hook hanger, so you can actually add weight to it. So you've got one of those fast hatch uh, yeah, sinkers, the, just yeah, whoosh, straight, straight on, on there, yeah, yep. and you can add. I've had up to two ounces on the front of this in the big tidal rivers up in the Northern Territory, where you need to get it down there, and the, and the thing still swims because it's it's this tail that does all the action. That's right. Yeah, so. the head remains quite still in the water, and that tail yep. does do all the action. Yeah. Now tell us the difference between the uh, this. This is probably the more user friendly size for yep. all over Australia. Yeah. The differences between the two. So the difference between this is this one is a lot heavier. So it's designed for the the average Joe blow that just wants to throw it out, wind it, wind yep. it in, yep. let it let it sink to the bottom, yep. pop it. So yep. It's got a lot more weight in it for its yeah, size. Yeah, it is weighty in the head, yeah. and there's no options to add extra weight no. on this one. But that there, over the weed, at um, Kinchin and places yep. like... I got a couple of fellas, like Peter Price in particular, he's got one of these that he's caught 70-odd fish on it so far. I, I, it's probably too good, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you need it to break before yeah. that, don't you? <laughs> but his, his technique with that is throw it up onto the weed and burn it across the top yep. and let it free fall off the weed, and they, as soon as you stop, they inhale it. So every time. But so how many sizes in the four in these? So we have a um, a three and a half, a four yep. and a half, a five and a half, and then the big, the big eight bobber. inch one. So, mm. so but the, the thing about this is you'll see it in the video footage of it's the sink rate mm. when with with no weight on it you just swim along and when it stops it just it's like. Eat me. Yeah. It is. It looks, like, it looks better than a dying bony brim. Yeah, it just eat me. Yeah, so, I and, agree. And my success on this was throwing it out, especially in around that 10 foot of water, and just a slow wind, slow wind, and as soon as you stopped, those barrels were just going... <laughs> And suck it, it in. Yeah, yeah, it was, you can imagine them following it along yeah. and just waiting for something to change. Very, very cool. Like... Uh, yeah. Yep. Now, I, the, cod, the cod guys are going to like that as much oh, as the barrel guys, the, aren't they? The cod, the cod guys are... Um, 
catching quite a few really good caught mm. on them at the moment. So Now, that was pretty impressive under the water, but so was this thing. This is a new bait that's Eric's got. What's it called? This is the Infinity. Yes. So it's a 220 mil glide bait. Yep. As to say, a, you know, so when yep. you give it a rip of the rod tip, it That's glides right. one way, glides yep. the other way. Um, and when I was under the water, this was the noisiest as yep. well. Those segments, yep. when they swim, they knock together. Now, there's a couple of situations, that, 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 that apart from Barra, that you've used this in, but, but for me, this looks like the light weight on the front, and you get two weights on the front, yep, don't you? Do, yep. That light weight on the front, just a slow roll across some shallow, weedy water. This has got Barra written oh, over it. Oh, definitely, yep. And then, like you said, you, you, that's with that weight on it. You put the heavier weight on it, and you can actually get it to glide like down along the bottom. You mm -hmm. know, if you get your your rhythm right, you can get it to down in that. With that one, it sort of has a slow fall. It wasn't a real plummet yep. to the bottom. Yep. And yeah. even with the heavy weight, it wasn't it wasn't no. plummeting. It was just getting deeper than it the original like a fish one. Dying. One of the things I, I fished a lot of segmented swim baits in the Barra Tour, and I'm just addicted to that bite. Mm. Like explain the bite that this thing gets when they swim it along. <laughs> so <laughs> they don't peck at it. They don't. Mm. They just inhale it. That's right. There's no. There's no. There's, there's nothing really to describe it really. It's just that you you most of the time it's on the pause too. So yep. you've done the the sweep of the rod or you, you've done it with the rod, and then it's just crack. That's right. It's like the biggest the, brim clunk in your life, isn't oh, it? Mate, <laughs> and I, normally you're down to your elbow getting it out of their guts after yeah, the finish. They yeah. do swallow them down deep. Um, and because it's a weighty lure, you can put it on one of those big venom swim bait yep. rods, and you can hurl them a mile, can't oh, you? Oh, you can, yeah. That's it. Now, tell us a little bit, well, I know we're talking about Barra now, but tell us about your secret weapon for flat this as well. Oh, well, this is... <laughs> I've been throwing this around for the for the big big flathead on the Gold Coast. So you take the weight off, and all you see when, you, when you're coming across the shallow, especially in, like, a foot of water, that fin and that fin <laughs> and are the just... Fins, it, yeah. The fins out of the water. It looks like a little shark cruising along, yep. and the flathead have absolutely been smacking it. That's so. right. No, it looks great under the water, and again, you'll have seen it in the uh, in the cutaway footage here. It's yeah. like, yeah, I call it the great white shark, because yeah. <laughs> because it swims along, and it's, it looks like it's hunting something, but yeah. that's what gets eaten. Yeah, and, and, and I, people laugh at me when I say flathead, but, you know... A flat, it knocks off a mullet that big. Yeah, every day of the week. Every day of the week, a whiting that big, no worries at all. So, yep. but uh, yeah, but they're quite easy to um, take that chin weight off. Just got a couple of little grub screws in there, just undoes, and you can change your weights over. Yep. So, Mate, that's very, very easy. cool. Very cool. So, bait. I think now you, the Zerich brand has now got Barra in particular, but predatory species in general covered, yep. literally from the top to the bottom, and we're really looking forward to uh, to the Barra Tours next year, but just what fish come in on these baits in the next 12 months, because it's an exciting time for your company, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely, mate, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, always, uh, it's always good seeing photos coming in of fish being caught on, on the lure, especially when you had something to do with it, yep. you know? So. so we'll make sure that uh, if you're really keen on these baits and the Barra Tour, there's a few places you need to go, abt.org.au for the Barra Tour. Yep. Uh, make sure you like Zerek Australia on Facebook for updates about all of these latest baits and, of course, uh, the Wilson Fishing website. Yep. The address is down here. Uh, make sure you go there to check out all of the colours and sizes available because these are some great-looking baits.